<laughs> hey guys, uh, another free thinker update. Good morning, good afternoon. Depends on what time we're watching this, I suppose. Um, good news, we just started our microgreen grow. Uh, we got some peas coming around here, sunflower seeds, as well as radishes. We're about to start on the medicine wheel uh, update. Uh, we just had the cryptics crash at our house last night. What's up guys, I'm here with Valentino from the Cryptics. But you guys got a new album just came out? Yep, uh, maybe digital, new LP came out in September. September. And uh, we're doing a long tour right now because of that. And uh, yeah, new album, new lineup. Awesome. And, uh, if you come out to the back, show you what else we got going on. Here's all our precious dirt, good organic compost, good stuff right there. As you see, our all of our garden is still alive, doing well. Maybe those guys are a little droopy. Next, uh, we got the medicine wheel. We got the bricks laid out now. North, south, east, west. Oh, sorry. West, east. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna fill this up. We're gonna fill this up with dirt and start planting, uh, start planting herbs. So this week we had people in the Freethinker community reach out to us and say they had fruit trees that were ready to be picked and would we like some cuttings and so this week we collected maybe 50 cuttings of fig trees and orange trees and lemon trees, even got some herbs, there's some rosemary right there. And so the question I'm going to put out to you, the Houston Freethinker community is, are you in the Houston area and do you have any fruit trees you could give us cuttings to because we have plans for future guerrilla gardening projects, maybe we'll go out and graft some fruit trees to some non-fruit trees in the pu in public spaces. We want to plant up some fruit trees in this garden here. We've got lots of space to do it. So if you've got fruit trees, please hit us up, send us an email, post in the comment section and we'll try and figure something out. Farmer Jeffer, yo, what you working on? Working on dechlorinating the water so we can feed the microgreens. Leave it out in the sun for a while. And the chlorine boils off. So you just fill them up and then let it, the sun do, do the job? Pretty much. So does that make the plants healthier and keep people from eating poison? Absolutely. Tip from Farmer Jim, the last we're going to pay for. Cool. This is update six of the Freethinker House. We're going into month two now. Uh, for the first Freethinker House show, we had Metanoia uh, headlining. We had Whalebone, Hakeem, Derek's band Man and Kari opened up the show for us. It was a great night. Everyone involved had a phenomenal time. <laughs> And the house is a mess. Well, it's still somewhat of a mess. We got this awesome painting. Yes, Willbone, they have a visual artist who works, who paints while they make music, and he did this for us. And, and it's also covering up uh, our one, <laughs> our one casualty. <laughs> our cas one little mishap from the night. Our one casualty, we it's, lost the window. It's not a house party if you don't break a window. <laughs> we have our first little testing batch of microgreens growing right now. Uh, the, the radishes are doing well, the sunflowers and the peas not so much. I looked up the videos on how to do them and I realized I didn't start them properly. You're supposed to start them with trays on top of each other to, uh, to get a stronger root formed and I didn't do that so I'm doing the next 10 and I'm going to do them. So they'll be good. But if you want to buy some microgreens and you're in the Houston area, 
we'll uh, we'll hook you up with some really good price. Cool.